Hey everybody, we're at Tel El Amarna, Akhenaten's capital city in Middle Egypt. I'm Gus with Egypt Adventures Travel. I create customized itineraries for travel to Egypt, connect people with local guides in Egypt, and I also lead private tours myself. In this video, I'm gonna talk all about the ancient site of Tel El Amarna, talk about how you can visit it and what you can expect to see there. So let's get started exploring Akhenaten's old capital city. There's a blog post in the video description with more general information, like how we got to Amarna, where we stayed, and what restaurants we ate at for lunch and dinner. We had to buy three tickets at Amarna, one to enter the site, one to enter the Royal Tomb of Akhenaten, and a ticket for the car. So in the car with me is my best friend, Nicholas Brown. Say hi. Hi hey everyone. So you might have seen Nicholas in some of my previous videos um, talking about like COVID entry requirements to Egypt and I just love him very much and he is with us at Amarna because he's working here on the archaeological team and this is his fourth season working with them and he's going to be just showing us around and showing us some of the sites. Yeah. So yalla bina. Yalla bina. <laughs> So if you're interested to come visit the site of Amarna, but don't have access to a guide or your own personal Egyptologist to show you around, I would highly recommend picking up this Amarna guidebook, which is edited by Anna Stevens. So this is a guidebook put out by the Amarna Project, so the current archaeological expedition that's working here at the site. And it has a series of articles and write-ups of the different areas at Amarna that you can go visit, written by specialists in the field of Egyptology. So you can purchase it online, or you can even go to the AUC Press bookstore in Tahrir Square in Cairo to pick up your own copy. Our first stop was the Royal Tomb of Akhenaten. Because Amarna is a really big site, you want to have a driver with you who knows where they're going. So now we're at the royal tomb here at Amarna. So this was the tomb built for Akhenaten, the founder of the capital city here at Amarna. In this video, I'm just going to show you highlights of some of the different sites that we visited in Amarna. I'll have some more complete videos on YouTube and we'll do a whole series on Amarna so you can see in detail what to expect at the royal tomb and some of the different sites around this ancient Egyptian capital city. So you can see you've got King Akhenaten, his wife Nefertiti, and some of the sisters of the princess. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. And her name, the princess, um, she is Sautisu and Hetef, so the, the royal daughter of his body. Okay. Uh, something like from your hand is born the um, born sorry born of the the great wife Nefertiti. Mm, that's Nefertiti's cartouche. Yes, yeah, so this is the cartouche of Nefertiti, and she's Neferu Neferaten. Uh, Aten is the circle, the sun. Yeah. So Aten's name is written right here. So the reed leaf, the bread loaf, the water, and then the, the sun disk. Mm, wow. You can expect to have a police escort with you for any sites that you visit in Middle Egypt. So our escort was sitting up at the front of the car the whole time we were at Amarna. So here we're at Stila U here at Amarna. And this is a series of inscriptions that Akhenaten carved into the cliffs that surround the capital city of ancient Amarna. And um, essentially the inscriptions talk about Akhenaten founding the city and his reasons for doing so, which was to create a cult center for the sun disk, the Aten. It's really important to note that Amarna has a lot of walking and a lot of stairs. It is not accessible for folks who are not able to walk long distances or climb a ton of stairs. So if you are a traveler who needs those types of supports, Amarna probably is not the best site for you to visit. Wow. Pretty cool, right? Oh, wow. wow. So now we're at the North Tombs here at Amarna. So these are a series of rock cut tombs that were built into the cliffs surrounding the city of ancient Amarna. And these are the highest officials for King Akhenaten. So the high priests, the king's butler, the king's dresser, 
some of the most important people and wealthiest people here at Amarna. So let's go check them out. Yani fi Minnesota han udwati of da. Of da. Of da. Of da. Here are a few highlights of what we saw at the North Tombs at Amarna and I'll have a YouTube video out with my Amarna series that goes more in detail on what travelers can expect to experience yes. at the North Tombs. We didn't want to waste any time, so we ordered lunch from the visitor center, which you can easily do with one of the staff there. We had some delicious kofta sandwiches, and then we're back on the road quickly after. The visitor center also has some really nice handmade goods that you can buy, and has super clean bathrooms. There are also different rocks, minerals, and even fossils that have been found throughout Amarna available for purchase. This is basically the center of one of the two villages here in Amarna. It's called Etil. Oh, and people so, are gathering because it's Friday and prayer. They're gathering because it's Friday prayer, and it's the day off for most Egyptians here gotcha. in Egypt. And so, yeah, this is uh, Etil. So here we are at the Great Aten Temple. So this is the main cult temple to the sun god, or the Aten, um, here at Amarna. And currently you can see some freshly laid limestone blocks, which this is the work of the Amarna Project, who are doing restoration work here at the site. And, um, what happened, the reason that the Amarna Project is now starting to redo uh, the restoration work here at the temple is the modern cemetery has actually encroached onto the site in the middle of the temple space. So the Amarna Project is doing great work here to restore and delineate what's left of the temple so that people know not to expand any more of the cemetery onto the site. Imagine, you know, maybe on the second or third story up there would have been an open window and that's where Akhenaten and Nefertiti would have made their kind of appearance, right? And they would have um, showered their favorite officials with gold collars and other kind of goods. Our last stop was the Southern Tombs. Again, these are just some highlights. You can check out a complete version of the Southern Tombs video on my YouTube playlist for Amarna. And is this a statue representing him? So this should be Ani, yeah. So this is the back shrine where a cult statue of Ani was. You can see it carved from the living rock. And um, this is the place where traditionally ancient Egyptians would have made food and wine offerings to the deceased. Mm. And do you see, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but with the with the Aten as it's giving its rays of light and life to the king and queen. Sometimes he offers little onk symbols or symbols of life to the king and queen. I don't like it. I hear him chirping down there. Here, you, you go in front of me. I don't want to go. Onk and the angel of the Okay. Okay. And I'm going to give me the bors. And I'm going to give me the bats. Camel? If you want to know where we stayed and where we ate lunch and dinner, check out my blog post about visiting Tel El Amarna and the major city north of it, Minya.